Hey guys, uh, normally I set up a lot nicer in here, but this is literally like the only room that's not noisy right now in the house. Um, but yeah, this is just like a quick unscripted and messy video to declare victory. If you didn't see in my um, community tab post, I got my V back. I, I did it. Uh, baby was born Wednesday evening by 8 p.m. Um, and so it's here Saturday afternoon. My parents are visiting to see their new grandbaby and um, we're getting a couple of things kind of squared away, starting to feel like we're getting our feet back underneath us and tidying the house, doing a whole bunch of laundry. Um, it was a crazy story and I will be making a birth, um, not vlog because we didn't really film any of it. I didn't want to bother with that, um, but a birth story video um, to tell you all of the juicy details. Um, so I don't want to get into too much of that right now, but just know it was a long couple of days. Um, and so, yeah, you noticed I didn't get a video out on Thursday, but I'm hoping to get into a bit more of a routine and have one out for you this next week um, to sort of show off what my planner looked like in the my mental state over the last week or so. Um, and yeah, everyone's doing really well. Um, my milk's starting to come in, so that's fun. Uh, baby's sleeping pretty decently. We're, you know, getting as much rest as we can. Um, and it's like they say that, you know, you get more uninterrupted sleep when you're pregnant, but lower quality. <laughs> and then once the baby's out, you can just like conk out for a couple hours between feedings. <laughs> so um, I feel a lot better after doing that last night. And uh, that's pretty much really all I have to say. Just the fact that we did it. If you've been following the saga, you've been subscribed and all of that, I so appreciate you. I've gotten so many great comments and just support from people. It's been really sweet. Um, the plan was um, that I was on the surgery schedule for a repeat cesarean yesterday, Friday, um, the 18th, if I didn't go into spontaneous labor before then. Um, so up to that point, that was like my hard out date. I was trying very hard to put myself into labor so I could have my V back. And so we finally did go into the hospital Tuesday, late, late Tuesday. I guess it was technically Wednesday morning by the time I even got to the hospital. Um, and we were there mostly most of the day. It was a long, exhausting journey. Um, and like I said, I will be telling the whole story in excruciating detail later once I have the energy to. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was just, I, I'm feeling euphoric. I'm on top of the world. You know, I've managed to slay the beast and get this thing done. And I feel really good about it. It was unmedicated, um, very narrowly. So there was a lot of excitement at the end there. Uh, but everyone's happy. Everyone's healthy. We were home um, in less than 24 hours for a baby to meet her big sister, who is adjusting. It's, you know, it's, it's a lot for her, I can tell. Um, but she's staying positive and uh, we're, all, we're all doing pretty good. And yeah, I just wanted to say we're home, we're good, thank you. And video schedules and Instagram schedules are probably going to be, continue to be a little bit wonky. Um, but I know you all understand that because you're all super supportive and I so appreciate every single one of you. If you haven't joined our little community here, um, then do feel free to subscribe. I'll be, like I said, posting that birth uh, story as well as other updates of the baby. Um, if you want to see the picture that's in the stories, no sorry not stories, um, I don't have that feature, in the community tab post. Um, and until next Thursday, have a great time. Yeah, and I'll see you then. <laughs> Keep pulling for me as I try to get a little bit of rest. Love you guys. Bye.